Chance. Chance, we got 100,000 subscribers. What do you want to say to the people? Uh... Awesome. First things first, thank you guys thank so much. You. Seriously, thank you so much. 100,000, that's crazy. We didn't think it would happen this fast, or maybe even at all, so seriously, thank you guys so much. It means a lot to us. It really does. I mean, it's an opportunity for us to do exactly what we love and to share it with you guys. So we're here at the beautiful Santa Monica Pier. There's a lot of people, a lot of Pokestops, and we're hoping to see a lot of wild Pokemon. As you guys know, Pokemon spawn more frequently in areas of high cellular data activity, and since there's so many people here all day, we've heard a lot of rare Pokemon have been spotted here. That's so we're gonna go try to find them. That's the reason why we came. Okay, we've taken like five steps, and already the first Pokemon has appeared, and it's a Machoke. I haven't seen one or caught one, and so I just did right now. Boom, straight to the dome. Got some eggs hatching. I think they're only two kilometers, so this might not be exciting. I did hatch. Squirtle, it's exciting. These ones might not be exciting. Yeah. What? Again? And one more. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay. I had three. Dang. I started them all at the same time. Oh, yeah, so smart. Damn, really? Dude. Two starters, three eggs. At once. That's cool. If Pikachu's so rare, how come there's a wild one right there? Red Pikachu, blue Pikachu. <laughs> if you're looking for a red or blue Pikachu hat, Santa Monica appears the place. <laughs> Panic! Panic! Super! Panic. Crazy right now. There's an Omastar on the screen. Juan can't get it. I, I can't I got click it. it. You click. Oh I my. got it. It disappeared. What? Don't worry, dude. It has 94 CP. But I don't have it in my Pokedex. Damn. That's true. I'd rather have an Omastar with 94 CP than none at Not all. At all. <laughs> How do you feel me. about that? I, honestly, I'm super sad because this is the second time it's happened that I'm clicking a guy and I'm getting an air <laughs> What if it's a biography on humans? <laughs> yeah, let me get you one of those. Okay, guys. Okay, so this we just heard. Serious. You know what? You'll see when we get there. That's right. Stay tuned. <laughs> Bro, it's fucking awesome to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, you too, man. Dude, it's awesome to see you guys yeah, here. Just uh, that Dragonite was actually I just know, around we just, here. We just missed it. Yeah? We just missed you guys it. guys just missed it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. One said it's still here. One says it's still it's here. It's still here because I just got it on my radar, so let's see if we can see it. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm frozen. I'm not doing anything. Honestly, I think it is here, but we need to wait until my phone loads and catches up with the server, and it will Same. pop up. Okay, I guess we're gonna post up real quick. We're gonna wait to catch him. Yeah, there's so many people here right now. This is, this is insane. I'm in, things are loading. I see no Dragonite nearby. Let's hope for the best. I'm too late. Looks like we're stuck on the loading mode, and we're gonna miss out on an awesome opportunity. This is pretty much the state of the game right now and maybe the most anticlimactic 100,000 <laughs> subscriber episode you've ever watched. Okay guys, well, our surprise, Dragonite disappeared from the map and it's not even nearby, so I don't know what to do, but there is an Electabuzz and I'm gonna catch it. Juan's got an Onyx, I've got an Electabuzz. It's pretty exciting. It's very exciting. It's the least still no Dragonite. <laughs> it's the least we can do since we didn't find him. Sean, you can run with you. Oh no. Sorry, dude. I feel your pain. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally feel your pain. Well. Alright, I got a second try with this Electabuzz right now. And Nick should be happy because that's a really strong guy. And my phone is not loading, I can't see anybody. <laughs> oh, it's happening again. It's happening again. 
As much as we love cellular activity and the fact that it brings us a lot of Pokemon, it's really hard to catch them. The reason we're seeing so many Electabuzz here is because this is an Electabuzz nest. And that's something we haven't talked about yet, but we are going to go into detail about that in tomorrow's episode, so stay tuned for that. But if you're curious, Electabuzz nests are commonly found at theme parks. So if you go to Six Flags, Disneyland, whatever's nearby, you can probably find some Electabuzz there. A very suspenseful moment. I find a slow bro, my screen is loading, and I have one Pokeball. Uh, let's try. I believe in you. Let's see it. Let's see it. No pressure. And I forgot to throw a raspberry. I've got 130 of them. Oh! And it's lost. Before we leave Santa Monica, we're going to show you a cool trick to help you choose which evolution of Eevee to get. So what you need to do is you need to give a nickname to each of the three to get the certain type of Pokemon that you want. Rainer, Sparky, or Pyro. Rainer, let's do you first. Vaporeon. There you go. See? I guess it works. Let's try Eevee number two. So the second one, Sparky. Let's hope we get a Jolteon. It works. Last one. And we got a Flareon. All nice. three. Make sure you guys remember that special trick if you guys want to choose which evolution you're going to get. I'm here at the Killer Bunny Gym in downtown LA to show you how you can use the tips that I shared to take down a gym where the Pokemon defending it are stronger than your own. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose my team based on type effectiveness. I know that there's an Arcanine, a Fire type, and a Golduck, who's Water type, here at the gym. So I'm going to choose my Vaporeon to take down the Arcanine and my Jolteon to take down the Golduck. 